assume you're going to go offense early this year? Uh, I wouldn't assume that, no. I really wouldn't. Uh, you know, I mean, I think it's – I mean, you guys all know. It's uh, – you know, we're, we have – some holes to fill out all over the place. We still need holes on defense so, and, and offense. So, um, you know, we're going to try the, the best of our ability to stick with our philosophy of taking the best available player. And, you know, I know everybody says that, but you know, we're going to try to do that. And I think we're probably in a better position to do that than some teams. You know, uh, some teams, there may be one or two positions away from being really good. And, you know, so I think it's probably a, a positive for us that we can sit there and, you know, take a, the best available player. Daquan Bowers, do you, are you satisfied it's me? Just okay. Uh, yes. For the long term, you think, or just yeah, I, our, our doctors, you know, have, you know, looked at him a hundred times, and he, he went to the recheck, and um, you know, so we've done our due diligence, and you know, I, I don't want to get into the whole all these medical stuff, but yeah, his, we think his knees gonna be all right. Do you weigh, at number six, do you weigh a potential injury risk more than you would at fifteen or? Um, you know, I, it's, I think it depends on what the injury is and, you know, what our doctors say. You know, if, if our doctors say he can play, then, then no. I mean, you, uh, you know, obviously you look at it, but if, you know, really if our doctors think it's not going to be a big deal, then we just have to go with that. I wouldn't say there's no chance of that, and uh, but we do. I mean, obviously, we like Colt McCoy. We really do. And um, uh, you know, we were. I was in a little bit of the situation. Obviously, the age was a big difference. But when we were in Philadelphia, and we had Donovan McNabb, and and I don't know what the perception was that we didn't think Donovan was still a good player. That wasn't the case. We just, you know, we thought Kevin Cobb was a really good football player, and you know, so we did that. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say. That's probably one of our top needs, but if somebody that we thought was a, you know, a legitimate Hall of Fame type quarterback, then you know we would do that. Uh, when you look, say, second, third, fourth, fourth, kind of those middle rounds, are there one or two positions where there's just a whole lot of guys that really come into play, and that especially with fits what you're doing? I mean, uh, specific uh, position. Yeah. Say it's, there's a bunch of good linebackers in those um, rounds, or a bunch of good whatever. That's a good question. Uh, you know, I, I think there's there's guys throughout the draft. Yeah, I don't know if there's a one position that maybe better than others, but we have certain players at each you know each round that we think can come in here and help us. I don't know if there's like a group of like say in the I'm just to answer your question. The fourth round, there's a bunch of linebackers. I think there's. Yeah, but I think there's there's players that we think are going to be in the fourth and fifth round that can help us, not at a specific position, but there's guys that we like in those rounds. There, there really are. Um, you know, that's kind of the – it's up to each individual club. You know, I think they're both very talented guys, and, um, you know, I think they're, they do bring a little bit different – I mean, they're both – they're receivers and they're both good football players. They both can run, they can catch, all that stuff. So I think some people might like something else about one guy and the other guy. But, you know, it's, I think you talk to 32 teams, you'll probably get 16 answers for why one guy might do something better. And, you know, it's just uh, uh, that, that, that position, it's, uh, it's a little hard because, you know, uh, they're, both, they're, not, they're both kind of the same size and, you know, maybe one runs a little faster. But it's, they're, they're very similar players. They really are. There's not much difference as a, an overall package. Better suited for the West Coast offense. I don't think either, either one's fine. I don't think there's one other. Bowers knee, but Julio just had surgery recently on his foot. Any concern there? No, you know, like I said, we, you know, I hate. There's a there's a zillion guys that have these medical. There's just some stuff, and you know, it's uh, you know, we we're aware of everything, and you know, I think we're 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 you know, those guys. I think we're fine with that. As you. Uh, you know, this, from now until Thursday, you'll be every day you'll be looking at your board and wondering who's going to be there. Is there one key thing that can happen in front of you that will change everything? Uh, no. Um, one team that you're really that could trigger what you do. Um, really, there's it's not. You know, I think yeah, you know, if we end up staying where we're staying, I, we're going to get a good football player. Right? We there's six guys and we're we're going to get a good football player. I don't. So that's. That's probably the nice thing. Obviously, you don't want to pick up there all the time, but that's probably the nice thing about it. We we know we're getting a good football player. We have six guys that 
we're would be happy with. So if we stay here, then you know we're we're good. So it really it really is not going to affect us what happens up there. You know, obviously one guy that we might like a little bit better might fall to us, but it's not a situation where we're we're that concerned about it.